Um, it came about really with uh, my association with the Solheim Cup, which was um, played in Killeen Castle in Ireland in 2011. Um, I'd had an idea that I wanted to try and do something a little bit different with the game of golf, you know, to um, try something that was a little bit more colourful, vibrant, maybe a little bit modern. And um, the organisers of the Solheim Cup picked up what I was doing and um, so I suppose since about 2011 I've been painting golf clubs and uh, really enjoying it. So um, I had a lovely email from uh, the manager here, Elaine McBride. Um, she had seen some of the work that I made for uh, the Curtis Cup recently. And um, I think she thought that it might be a really good fit that um, she and I would work together to achieve some uh, really nice images for uh, North Berwick Golf Club. So it was Elaine who contacted me and so began the journey. Well, like it's hard to, I mean, I mean, it's hard to do justice in words to, uh, to this place. It's an absolutely magnificent uh, golf course, magnificent setting. Um, I've made three pieces that kind of speak of a journey uh, of playing uh, the course um, and from slightly different points of view. Um, the first one is uh, Gannett's view um, and it really speaks of the, the nature that's inherent in the area, um, particularly with the, the Gannets obviously who uh, live out on uh, the Bass Rock behind us here. Um, and um, I used a, a bird's eye view of the setting here which I really feel it's just magnificent. I, I love how the golf course is knitted into, into the community and how there's a, almost just a natural relationship between sport, uh, the community, um, just normal life and golf in Scotland. It's wonderful, it's wonderful to observe it. Um, and um, that's really what uh, Gannett's view is about, is just an overview of that, um, all of the activity that takes place therein. I believe it is, I believe it has to, um, and um, I suppose I've played golf myself um, you know from a very young age um, and I've been around golf courses a lot obviously been in golf clubs um, and I was always interested in, in making golf um, more contemporary or at least in a way representing golf in the way that I know it and to me it's you know it's sport um, but it's also um, all the stuff that happens between shots it's all the stuff that happens before and after the actual game, you know? Um, and that's the kind of stuff I was always interested in. Um, I think golf is, an, is just an amazing sport for, you know, for all ages as we know. And I think it's really important to make golf, you know, present it more vibrant, more, um, more exciting, um, more youthful, if you like. And it's time to give it a bit of a makeover, you know? Um, <laughs> um, you know, I'm still holding on to my youth. I think when I started doing this, I was young, but something's happened to me in the interim, but I'm hanging on to it. Um, the idea of, you know, golf is a young person sport and uh, yeah, we've got to start presenting it that way. Um, I don't know, I suppose, um, am I allowed to have two? <laughs> um, I suppose my initial involvement with the Solheim Cup uh, when it came to Ireland in 2011 was um, particularly good because it proved to me that we could do this differently and um, that it sort of you know that, that my style fit what they were about um, but um, having said that uh, one of the next projects I was involved with was in Scotland actually up in Nairn and um, I got involved with the Curtis Cup up there uh, produced some work um, had an exhibition of work it really was uh, like I couldn't have been welcomed more um, and it was a very special project for the people I met and you know to allow a failed golfer who's uh, now an artist to get kind of to rub shoulders with some of the elite players is just magic for me I love that I mean, like, what can you say? I, I arrived out here on the train this morning. I mean, you can put your clubs on the back and on your back in the city and arrive out in this environment in half an hour. It's just magnificent. So, I mean, for a golfer, it's just heaven. Um, and for someone like me who's kind of spends more time looking around than and playing, maybe. It's everything is here. Uh, it's just the nature, the sea, it's the way the land gives way to the sky. It's the way you can see across the Firth and Forth. It's, it's, it's just magnificent and the history as well. I, I should say that um, I know that, you know, there's a lot of, you know, characters from the past who were very significant in terms of their own um, 
um, achievements uh, and so on and you do feel that way uh, I've walked the course and you feel the strength of the people that were here before us um, and I suppose I feel that very strongly that kind of sense that um, somebody laid this down for us before and we have a responsibility to maintain it and allow it to grow so those are the kind of things I think about um, and and you can't but smile all your way around so it's that's it it's magic